we'll discuss specially about asymptotes for the hyperbola x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1 call it equation 1 y is equal to mx plus c is going to be a tangent equation 2 2 is tangent to 1 if c square equal to a square m square minus b square and the point of contact is equal to minus a square m by c comma b square by c this we discussed earlier now let us write in detail minus a square m by root of a square m square minus b square b square by root of a square m square minus b square now if m is equal to plus or minus b by a automatically denominator becomes zero implies a square m square minus b square equal to zero that is c square equal to zero c equal to zero means point of contact tends to infinity basically you to, we discussed that this is a tangent tangent is touching the curve at infinity so they are called asymptotes so tangents to hyperbola at infinity are called asymptotes so asymptotes are nothing but tangents basically tangents are straight lines how we will see substitute these values in this equation y is equal to plus or minus b by a into x of course the c value is 0 now it will become x by a is equal to plus or minus y by b x by a plus or minus y by b equal to 0 x by a plus y by b equal to 0 comma x by a minus y by b equal to 0 both pass through the origin the combined equation is x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 0 this is pair of asymptotes now we observe that standard equation of hyperbola and asymptotes differ by constant only now here m is equal to plus or minus b by a two values are there so m1 is equal to b by a m2 is equal to minus b by a if theta is angle between the asymptotes the asymptotes automatically we have the formula tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 now apply the formula this is b by a plus b by a divided by 1 minus b square by a square now this is 2 into b by a divided by 1 minus b by a whole square this is assume that b by a is equal to tan theta theta is equal to tan inverse b by a so i will write tan theta is equal to of course here we will write alpha because theta is already is in use let us write alpha so this is 2 tan alpha by <coughs> 1 minus tan square alpha that is 2 alpha so theta is equal to 2 alpha that is 2 into alpha is tan inverse b by a now if you write theta is equal to 2 tan inverse b by a it is also equivalent to 2 secant inverse root of a square plus b square by a square that is 2 secant inverse e so theta is nothing but angle between the two asymptotes given by 2 tan inverse v by a or 2 secant inverse e 